Hello there and welcome back to another episode of our Lumina Neo Academy. The show where we help you to get the most out of this photo editing application. Now, if you've never been here before, my name is Jacob Bors and I'm a creator and founder here at Clever Photographer. Now, before we're going to start, I have a few things I want to cover. First of all, at the end of the video, I'm going to give you access to our popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet. So you make sure that you stay until the end. Also, if you don't own Luminar Neo or the HDR Merge plugin, get our discount code to get the best possible price and you can find it in the description of this video. Finally, I would like to ask you to please like, comment and share on this video. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can keep creating content like this. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change any color, including white, into black in Luminar Neo. In past, we have released tutorial showing you how to change colors in Luminar Neo. However, changing color into black actually follows a different workflow. So today I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, as always, if you want to follow me along, all you need to do is to jump into the description of this video, follow the link there and download the two sample files we're going to be using today. Once you have them ready, we can start. When it comes to changing colors into black, there are two ways to do this. The first one is for items that already have a color in them. So for this, we're going to use the first sample file where we're going to be changing the red sweater into black. Now, the second method and a second way is specifically for changing white items into black. And that's what we have the second sample file for, where we're going to be working on a white shirt. So let's start with the first method where we're going to be looking at changing color into black. So let's select the first sample file and click on edit on the top of our toolbar. Now to change the color, we're going to be using the develop tool. So let's head into our main toolbar and open the develop tool. The second thing we need to do is to select the item we want to change the color for. So in our case, it's the red sweater. To speed things up, we're going to go into the masking and first we're going to use the mask AI tool here. So click on it and the application will scan the image and gives us a choices of what we can select quickly using the mask AI. Once it's finished, you can see that we have a choices of human, sky and architecture. For us, we're going to select the human. Looking at it, it did pretty good job selecting the human. Now, the thing we want to remove is the part of the face and the skin. We only want to select the sweater. So to do that, we need to come back and then select the brush. Once we in a brush tool, the first thing you want to do is to make your mask visible. For this, you just need to click or hit the slash key on your keyboard. The mask looks like this. It's the red overlay. And now we can clearly see which parts are selected. So let's go back to our develop tool. We are still on our masking and now we want to select the erase. What we want to do, we want to brush away the parts we don't want to change. We don't want to change the color. So let's adjust the brush, make it a little bigger, softness around 20 and strength on 100. To start with, you just want to very quickly brush away the parts where you don't need to worry about the edge. So just something like this. Far away from the red sweater, you can just very quickly do the rough adjustment here. After that, we can zoom in. We can do that by using command or control plus on our keyboard. And once we zoom in, we can adjust the size of our brush and you can do that by using the size slider or you can use the bracket keys on your keyboard. We can continue with the kind of rougher selection, removing again the parts we don't need. And we're going to leave the detail selection, which we need to adjust to the end. After that, when we remove all these parts, we're going to zoom in again. And this is where we're going to be quite careful. Now, this is going to be a little time consuming. So I want to make sure that you take your time. I will speed up through the process. And once we finish, we can continue. However, before we're going to go, I want to show you a few tips. 
So first come first, when you make one brush, when you click, and then you hold shift on your keyboard and click somewhere else, it makes a straight paintbrush between the two points. After this, if you make a mistake and go over the edge, you have a two options of what you can do. First, you can use Command or Control Z on your keyboard to undo the brush, or when you brush over again, you can then switch your brush from Erase to Paint, and you can do that in your menu, or you can hit X on your keyboard, and it does the same thing. And now you can very simply brush the part back. So those were some of my favorite tips on how to speed up the masking. And now go ahead and make sure that you remove the parts of the skin and hair that we don't want to adjust the color for. Now, once you have the shirt selected, you can now switch over the mask by hitting the slash key again. And now it's time to change the color into black. For this, we need to go back into the adjustments and start in the color tab. Click on it to open it. And here, start by taking your saturation slider and bring it all the way down to minus 100. Now you can see that our shirt is already gray. However, we want it black. Well, for that, we need to come back to our light section and here use the exposure slider. What you want to do, you want to bring it down until the color of the sweater is what you were looking for. Now, what you don't want to do is you don't want to bring it all the way down so it looks unnatural. You just want to do it so you can see the nice texture of the shirt. You can see the shadows and highlights. So I think for this picture, somewhere around minus 2.75 is looking great. Now let's have a look at the before and after. And this is all there is about it. Just before we going to recap this technique, I want to mention that you can also use this method to change color into white. To do that, it's actually really simple. All you need to do is to go into your exposure slider and instead of going down, you're going to go into the plus numbers. So by dragging the slider up, you see that first it turns into the gray and then eventually into the white. How much you're going to add is up to you. However, it's another possibility of what you can do with your image. So once again, let's go through it. First, you bring your item into edit module. Then you open the develop tool. Then you use the masking to select the item that you want to change the color for. Then you come back into adjustments and start by removing the saturation with the saturation slider. You need to go all the way to minus 100. And to finish the effect and add the black color, you come back into the light section and use the exposure slider to make sure that the result is looking exactly the way you want it. Now, before we're going to continue, and I'm going to show you how to change white into the black, I want to quickly mention that this tutorial is powered by our Luminar Neo Power Bundle. For a little fee, you will get over 986 new elements to power up your Luminar Neo tools. You will get extra high definition, skies, overlays, textures, backgrounds, sky objects, LUTs, and presets to transform your images with just a few clicks. To get the best possible price, make sure that you follow the link in the description of this video. And to find out more about it, visit our website, cleverphotographer.com. And now it's time to continue and look at the way of how we can turn white objects into black. Well, the start is actually same as the method number one. We're going to use the develop tool again. So let's go ahead and open it. And the second part is same again. We need to select the item we want to adjust, the item that we want to change the color for. I actually went ahead and done it already to speed up the process. However, what you will need to do is to go into masking, then mask AI again, select the human, and then use the brush to adjust it. 
As I mentioned, I have already done it to speed up the process. So when I click on show here, you can see that I have the shirt selected. After this, we're going to go back into the adjustments. And again, we're going to go into the color and remove the saturation. This way, we make sure that there is no hue or no color in the white. So for example, if you have done some white balance adjustments and that would be some green or purple or yellow or blue in the white, this way we completely remove it. Now the following step will be different. Let's close the color section and we're going to use the curves. So let's open the curves. And the first thing I want you to do is to go to the point in the top right corner and start to bring it down. Once you start to do that, you can see how the shirt is turning to gray. And when we continue, continue, eventually it will start to turn black. Now you want to go quite far. So let's go somewhere around here. But looking at it, what you can see is that it's starting to lose the character, the highlights and the shadows. For this now, we need to take the point right under the curve in the middle here and then just start to drag it towards the right side of the curve. Once you do that, as far as you go, you can see that we recovered the shadows and highlights. Once we go this far, we can go back to the points we started with and we can bring it up a little bit or make it even darker. It really is up to you. For us, I think somewhere around here is looking good. And if you want, you can again adjust the point we have worked with earlier. Now again, let's have a look at the before and after. And this is the easiest and fastest way on how you can change white into black using Luminar Neo. So again, let's just quickly run through it. To adjust and turn white into black, you need to open the develop tool, use the masking to select the item you want to change. And after that, you go back into the adjustments, into color, remove all the saturation with the saturation slider, and then go into the curves Start by adjusting the point all the way in the top right corner. Start to bring it down until your shirt turns to black. And after that, adjust the middle point to bring back some character and highlights and shadows into the specific item. And there you have it. If you want a copy of our popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet, there is nothing easier than heading to our website cleverphotographer.com slash Luminar Gift. While you're there, you can also check out one of our popular Luminar Neo products, or you can stay here and watch more videos about Luminar Neo. For today, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please make sure that you like, comment, and share on this video. And also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can keep creating content like this. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name is Jacob Bors, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.